Okay, so hello guys, we are in Trondheim, Norway, in one of the furthermost North Lego shows in Europe and we are here with uh, Joachim, Joachim, yeah. Joachim. Yes. and he is the builder of this beautiful cathedral, so he will tell us where is this cathedral from? And this cathedral is located in Trondheim, uh, it's a Nidaros cathedral. Um, and you said uh, it has uh, how many pieces? Uh, the complete model with what I have designed of the interior so far and the base is about 100,000. What you see here now is 85,000. 85,000 pieces. How yeah. long did it take you to build it? Uh, it took me about a year, uh, about uh, 700 hours. 700 hours? Uh, so, uh, you know, after the kids was put to bed every day, then uh, I would... Uh, run to my computer and design because everything I, I designed the whole thing in studio right um, before uh, buying and building yeah Do, um, did you measure how tall is it with uh, the top of the yeah it's tower? 175 centimeters I believe I don't so have it's, it's slightly taller than I am and how, um, I, how do you actually transport it it's a, a bunch of different modules I can actually show you right here so this would be one of the modules actually it's two of them Something like this, and this is also detachable, uh, and everything just slides into place. Or it's, it's there's some uh, very few uh, tiles like that. Uh, nothing is actually attached very well. Right, that's uh, beautiful. But everything is supported by the by the table. Um, so uh, this was this was planned from day one that I would. Uh, I, I divided it up in the modules, but uh, it looked like it was be, would be uh, the best way of dividing everything up, yeah, like the natural lines yeah. in, the, in the actual building itself. That's great. I can see there was a ton of details. Well, there is a ton of details everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried uh, to replicate like the, the amount of arches, the amount of windows is very close to the real thing in many cases it's identical mm -hmm. especially these this is the bigger these bigger walls here the amount of arches, and even you see like some of the arches actually look different and they look different in real life yeah so the the outermost arches they have they have just have uh, four uh, that's uh, two rows small windows but the middle ones have three uh, so that's actually kind of obsessive but uh, <laughs> but I, I figured like if I I would I would check so if I was able to do it and uh, sometimes most of the cases it didn't affect the overall design so I ended up with uh, trying to make it as uh, much of a replica as possible yeah it's like this you, is a replica you, it's not, you've it's got not to my... have fun with it right yeah yeah and uh, I've seen there's a lot of uh, minifigures here uh, what do they represent uh, various uh, saints and uh, mostly religious people from a uh, long time ago. Uh, I'm not really sure, I, it's kind of embarrassing, but I don't know too much about the history of the building or uh, around it. For me, it's just a monument more than a religious thing, because I'm not religious. And you uh, like driving, right? Sorry? You like driving? Like just driving? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Like long driving. Yeah, we have Kev here from Ferry Bricks. Hello. He's one of the greatest guys in Europe that <laughs> travels to almost all the events. So we hope to see him in all modes in our events also next year, hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. So thank you very much uh, yeah. for the tour. It is beautiful. Uh, we've seen it thank yesterday. Uh, actually, the real structure here in Trondheim. And yeah. hopefully we'll get to take a look on the inside of the real structure and this structure like a tour maybe sometimes in the future, right? Yeah, uh, especially during summer, there's lots of organized tours. Yeah. I think you can even I, go I'm, up into that. I there's... mean, I mean in here. Oh, in here? In here. In the, actually, oh, in that mall. It's, yeah. Oh, you said something maybe next year that we could see like a portion of it taken off and... Uh... Thinking, because I'm just thinking out loud, because I, I kind of want to display all the stuff I wasted money on inside the yeah. building. Because right now it's just it's just at home. It's not even built yet. It's just in a huge pile, uh, and so I want to display that. And but some of them looks kind of out of context. If I just put a bunch of benches here, that would look kind of yeah. weird. Because there is a room for 120 benches inside the, the structure. Nice. Which all which and they can all fit three minifigs. So the benches are 10 steps wide, and uh, uh, actually contains lots of rare bricks. Yeah. 
So uh, I bought like the almost entire world supply of several <laughs> rare bricks. I know that when you need big structure, <laughs> yeah. you just uh, need to buy everything. You but can. there was like there was no demand for those bricks, so they were they were not expensive. Yeah. But n now there's like none of them for sale. Uh, <laughs> so thanks a lot for the tour, and yeah, I hope to you. see some uh, more design maybe maybe next time. Yeah, yeah, thanks. yeah. yeah, yeah.